God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Well, whether God actually said these words to people called Adam and Eve may be a matter of religious argument. But there's no denying that humanity has treated the planet as its own fiefdom, often to the detriment of other species and the environment. So this morning we're asking just one very big question. Has man's dominion been good for the planet? Has man's dominion been good for the planet? Tony Juniper. It's, it's pretty bad, isn't it? It is pretty bad. Hundreds hundreds of of years, years, speak for the cells, literally, literally in an instant, only if we see our demand for natural resources for the space, the mass extinction of animals and now on top of that is the problems being caused by not seeing change and indeed the acidification of the oceans that's also being driven forward by the release of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Now, some people might say, well, that's the price of economic growth, but I think that this is actually quite a short-term project for impact upon because nature is the source of all of our economic wealth. The more we destroy nature, the more we, nature, it's a very the more we impel the future, future generations of the cities when to have decent lifestyles, because everything we rely on, on, on including the oxygen we're breathing in this room, is put there by nature. For one continent, is, has reached a close crisis point. Yeah, genetic I mean, not relative Africa, to them, tigers elsewhere. Elephants, in particular. Let me talk about elephants with you, because the demand for ivory from the growing middle class in China is seemingly insatiable. Now, recall that in 1979, the elephant crisis there were 1.3 million elephants. In 1989, there were 600,000. It is totally disastrous. Probably around the disasters that people think that there is no crisis. They're losing 25 And because there was an international ivory trade ban in 1989, they think that the ivory crisis has gone away. There will simply be no elephants there. And, and why are they being killed for human adornment? It's not as if they're being killed because they're they're an intrinsic part of accepting now jobs to survive far more. Yes, they're being intelligent. Jobs we real name seals or adornment. Uh, generations. Or for this is this is icon, an iconic religious purpose, particularly in the Philippines. Yes, yes. It, it is a crisis. Well, I mean, it's a crisis that we're not paying attention to. Field research, particularly in Kenya, it's lions, it's lions. Big it's elephants, it's sharks, and so for 30 years, years there isn't one study of shark fish in the world. Into the psychology we are taking out 150 and it's actually replicated of the when world's you look at great ability to replenish mm. or, or the environmental capital. With so the we are running, running down the more the environmental capital that we all survive at the rate that is we share the same emotional platform in many respects. And of course people say that's terribly anthropomorphic. Well, I'm not sure that human being, therefore I can not in his, in his terms, opening, but I think elephants feel love, I think they feel fear and hate, I think they he, feel he remorse, is, very is, much similar to the way that we feel it, and so do many other species, just that we don't have other uh, words to describe. Yeah, 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 there is a, you know, know, some people blame the religious view of the anthropocentric view, this was all made for us. Let me just give you an example, the time of the minions is actually an anthropocentric view, so much I do make you call um, there was a photograph recently in the newspapers that follows the end of the I think possibly, um, I'm, I'm not going to dis dispute uh, and in fact, the difficulty with figures, of course, but all thousands of species are disappearing. Monastery, um, because we believe that yes, we have responsibility right now, in case of on our side, but right, right, equally, right, 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 the other way around. Um, if you think about these figures we're quoting, scary figures that we're quoting, I'm tempted to ask Tony, can you name the species, species that's died that in the last five years? Is that the last five years? Is that we're living in a way that the six fish are not having species in the Vietnam, 18 months ago, the last one was killed. And if you go to the chart, we can do so.
birds, the flowers and the bees, and the more we unravel that tapestry of nature, the more we imperil ourselves. That's what the science is happening. Let's touch on the religious here. There's Reverend Philip Foster, um, author of the World Legal Services. The problem that the religious view that I'm talking about. Absolutely. Um, you know, but if we, we just had uh, one of these problems, then we could probably deal with it quite easily. If it was just a question uh, that we are wiping out species, around the place. Um, you know, uh, then there are ways that we could stop that. Um, if it was just a question that we were overfishing, uh, uh, we could stop that. But it's a question of polluting our air and our water. But we also have other countries find ways to stop that. The problem is that all these problems hitting us at once. And not only are they all hitting us at once, they're going to hit us at a time. And our species is incredibly successful. Uh, and we've got about so many people on this planet today. Ago, um, and in uh, less Nothing than 30 like years, we're likely to yes, have been at least 10 billion, I, probably I, that's an underestimate, probably about 12 but billion. Nothing like this um, and we've got to think about we uh, feeding all of these people and ensuring that they have decent lives. So often you know, not lives lived in, in horrific slums uh, like uh, billions of people today. I mean, that's But having access to the kinds of decent standards of living. Corruption, that we expect. bad government, um, lack and we are control, coming up etc. against planetary now, limits. And and planetary oh, limits. Oh, 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 and oh, inability to enforce the law. That's a pity. As against this feeling that kind of there's a human population explosion, we are some sort of cancer being periodically used by some green extreme. Can we deny them? What we have. The idea that some man is being against the planet. Sorry, excuse me. I don't want to deny anyone a decent standard of living, and it is possible. A man's government to have a decent standard of living on this planet in all at the same time, but actually providing a very very different government from the way in which we're doing things today. a new geological era the balance with this whole idea that the, the name just got coined as the Anthropocene, so it's a geological era where is the tide our coming species. from? And it's important and it's to understand that us. our species has never experienced the kind of things that we've never experienced, the kind of changes we're going into, we've never experienced this kind of... I demand, our demand, yes, I absolutely do. We've always said that we are the single greatest agent of natural selection now. Because we get to decide what species just survive on this planet. Converted and, and that does give us an enormous stewardship responsibility. And it gives us the responsibility, I think, to, to bring it's about a planet where everyone has the right. And they've all lined the right. That's where the major demand for those products that we need. Wait, I want to hear you. It's a deal of time. We've got plenty of time. Carry on. Yes, we've got plenty of time. Carry on. We've got plenty of time. We've got plenty of time. Carry on. 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 We've got Yet seen. Yeah. 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 Yeah
it's about that choice. China forcing the guerrillas uh, just I'll give you one choice. Jim's choice. Jim's we can Bonobos, build the uh, electrified East Coast Rail Line, or whatever it is, the high speed rail lead to Birmingham. We can spend 33 billion pounds on that and reduce journey time by more like or we can do something with that kind of money that would I mean, was a be a dynamic game changer in terms large, of with AK putting in place the kind of policies of life that we decry by looking at the pictures in our newspapers but actually do very little about leaving infants just standing there. Thinking of taxing fossil fuels, etc. Maybe by the time you get round to thinking, 
what we've really got to do with fossil fuels. It'll be a, a no-brainer just to do solar because we're not have to do it so well. It's it's not it's not a done deal at all.